Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. The boys in black today. Look oh, at that. Yeah. Stuart Robson yeah. and uh, I almost got in Frank Lampard again. Oh, Frank why? LaBeouf. I don't know why I keep doing that at the moment. Uh, Ali with us in the That's studio awesome. as well. Uh, let's start with it, shall we, Ali? What country do you support during the World Cup? I've had plenty of, of experience. Yes, it. exactly. Minnesota, I've never made it to the World Cup. No. So I've had my pick for many years. All South American teams. Any, anyone. Any, anyone from Commonwealth. Any South American team. Whichever game they're playing and whoever they're playing against, I'm picking South America all the time. Who do you support, Robbo? Uh, well, the team I would support in the World Cup aren't in it. Italy. So uh, <laughs> that's a bit of a disappointment. So who would I support? I'd probably go with, uh, just for Frank's sake, I'll go with France. You've got England caps hanging over your <laughs> right shoulder, Robbo. <laughs> what? Yeah, but, but you don't want England to win, do you? You, you don't want to, you want to keep that myth that they can't win anything. You know, we can have there's lots of television programs when they keep losing and doing badly. Not quite so many when they do so well. Oh, it's all about your bank balance, not about yeah, people's uh, course, happiness. Always, it's always. Oh, I man. like that Colin. I like that Colin chap. He's, he's got the right side of you, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I really thought that he'd gone. <laughs> <laughs> he did that Wait, beautifully. So, so, so Robo will not cheer for England at all. No, it's Robo. You know how bitter he is about but life. But why is he bitter? He doesn't want to see people happy. <laughs> he doesn't want to see people around him happy. <laughs> That's no way to well, live. You saw, what happened, you saw what happened at the European <laughs> Championship final. The behaviour of the fans and the behaviour of everything that was going on around it. Disgraceful. Oh. But what about the other people who weren't there? Those Your family who I'm sure wanted England to win. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I don't think they like football. <laughs> they don't like me, so I don't know how to do it. I don't think they like me. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Frank, who would be your team if France get knocked out? Ah. Uh, hmm. Mm. Wow. Um, Germany. Really? I always, I always love Germany. I don't know why, uh, but it wouldn't be. And I'm very sad for Ali to be uh, to to make him very sad in 1998 because he was oh. supporting Brazil. Oh, he has to I bring that up. Oh, well, oh, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Somehow we came to me, but it doesn't feel like it's about me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's totally about you. It's totally about you. Yeah, and I, will, I think I will follow, I will follow Germany. I will follow right. Germany. Right, yes, exactly. Sorry about 1998, Ali. <laughs> very, know. you're very sorry about that. I was hard yeah, very terrible. sorry. Take a detour into that. Dan, if you were transported to the, if, to the 1990s, which ESPN FC member would you want to party with? Shaka running London in his Maserati, Stevie in Liverpool, a 19-year-old Alejandro Moreno, or World Cup winning Mr. LaBeouf. Oh, oh that's a good against question. Against Brazil, against Brazil, <laughs> against the South American team. So Robbo's obviously off, not even on the yeah. list. <laughs> uh, well, that's well, not well, an option. Dan, all, I would, all I would say is, Dan, I mean, had a couple of nights out with you. The only thing that I'm in, in, in charge of is making sure you get home. So let me just tell you that. Uh, yeah, I think you failed on that one occasion. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, Ali, uh, huh? no. You're going to pass? Yeah, I'm going to pass. It's, it's college years for it, me there. It's Shirley Temple's, though. I know, but it's college years. Right. I mean, there were some moments in college. <laughs> um, I'm going to pass on I'd pass on Shaka as well. Stevie in Liverpool or Frank would be awesome. Both of those would be brilliant nights out, wouldn't they? I'd have to put... I think I'd put Stevie slightly ahead of Frank. Just because that Liverpool team, the parties they must have had must have been sensational. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 of course. I live in Paris and you want to enjoy Liverpool? I <laughs> oh, man. Frank, Stevie seems to say making large amounts of money changes the way a player trains and affects his game on game day. Did your move to Qatar and increased salary affect the way you played? <laughs> well, yes, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, of course, that, the, the thing is, uh, you know, like we talked about Ronaldo, there is a time to give up, and I really felt that I, there, it was my time to give up and to put a little bit of money in my bank account. So, yeah, no, it doesn't change my, it didn't change my anything in my football, 
because it was already the end of my football <laughs> and uh, nothing <laughs> could have been changed. <laughs> wow, nice one, Frank. After the, le after the Legends game over the weekend, we saw Liverpool take on Barcelona, didn't we? Luis Garcia played for both teams, actually. What? Um, do any of the guys think they can still play? If so, how many minutes and how good of a performance do they think they can put out there? Uh, let's go to you, Ali, because you do still play, don't you, with your son's team? Yeah, well, I go and train every once in a while. Yes. And while I'm playing, I feel good. And mentally, I'm engaged, and mentally, I'm into what I'm doing, and I'm yelling at people, and I'm putting people in different places, and I'm demanding the ball. And then I stop. And that night, I had some difficulties with pain. The next day, I cannot move. Right. And the day after that, having difficulties moving. My knees cannot hold up, my back doesn't hold up. And that's when you say, yeah, I can't do this anymore. Until the next week when I say, I can do it again, and we repeat this cycle and it never ends. The bicycle kick, of course, is something. Oh, like well, yes, time. yes, from the Legends game. Yes. Where I thought I really jumped, but I never got <laughs> off the air. I never got off the ground. I, I went for it, I believed it, I saw it. Here I go, and <gasps> mommy, couldn't quite get there. Frank. <laughs> Frank, we know you're still uh, fit. We, nah, you put endless nah, topless pictures I, on Instagram. I am, I'm fit. Well, let's say that uh, outside is quite okay. Inside, it's, it's a nightmare. But uh, uh, no, I think I, I'm not able to play anymore. Um, if I play, it's just because it's for charity and I will uh, just come for like uh, some minutes. I remember, you know, enjoying the 10 years that we uh, we played. We played after the 10 years of winning the World Cup. We played against a fantastic team, and uh, I played in midfield, uh, replacing uh, Emmanuel Pochi. And I played after at the back, and I played for 90 minutes. Uh, for two days, I couldn't walk, and I was <laughs> like 40. I'm 50. I'm 54. I tell you, I can't follow the guys even for a minute or two. I cannot follow the guys. I know where I stand now. And I'm okay with some bicycle, a little bit of workout, good for me. <laughs> uh, Robbo? Well, as Frank was saying, you, you start to get old and you feel tired, you feel achy, and Ali said exactly the same. They were talking about when they were 40 and 45 and that sort of age. It happened to me when I was 24, so there's no chance that I'd still be playing football now. There's uh, absolutely, if I, if I played for two minutes, I'd be a cripple, so no, no good for me at all. Can I, can I tell you just a quick story of that Legends game? And the realization that the game is gone. Right. Something that I would have done in my career with my eyes closed. The ball gets played down the channel. I see the center back coming out. And all I'm doing is I'm feeling his body and I'm turning, allowing the ball to get by me. And that would have been bread and butter. Right. Easily done in the prime of my career. I mean, no issues whatsoever. So I'm thinking the same thing. This ball got played down the channel. Center back is coming and I'm thinking, I'm gonna hold him with my body and I'm gonna turn him. And as I went to hold him with my body, he'd already gone and gotten the ball. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Where did he come from? <laughs> oh man, it was, so, it was so painful to just see it happen in front of you. Ali, Kaká or Neymar? Who is, was a better player in their prime? This is a good question. Oh, I made you hit the, hit the table in that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm going to say Neymar. Really? Mm. I'm going to say Neymar. The best of Neymar. We're, we're talking about the very best of each player. Yes, the best yes. of Neymar, I think, is potential to be best in the world. It's just we rarely see it. And now we kind of make fun of Neymar for the player that he has become. But we tend to forget his very best yeah. is at a tremendously high level. 2007, Milan, Kaká. Yeah, and that's why I tapped the table twice. Because <laughs> it's a difficult question. Uh, we're running out of time, but I'm intrigued. Frank? Uh, yes, exactly the same as Ali. I think uh, in the Neymar, this, uh, this prime uh, is definitely the best. Even if I love Kaká, they don't, for me, they're not the same players, but Neymar has, has something special. Robo? No, Kaká, I'd go with Kaká every time. He was effective, he was a great player. Neymar, I've always seen him as a showman rather than a top-class player. Oh, Robert mm. hates a showman. <laughs> yeah, he does. What a tackle <laughs> from behind. Uh, <laughs> we've been taught, this is, this is naughty. It's the final, and I didn't write this question. Okay. 
We've been talking a lot about haircuts and how much people spend on haircuts oh. over the last couple of shows. Oh. How much do Robbo, Ali and Frank spend on haircuts? Okay. That's mean. Well, that's mean. I can tell you the answer. Haircuts <laughs> 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 <That's> are <a> Robbo! <laughs> So you're coming to me straight away. OK, OK, OK. I'm okay. the director did that, Rob. It's not me. Yeah. Who's, uh, who's in charge of HR? It, it really affects me deeply. You know, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm really man. disappointed. Really disappointed. You know what, you know what Dan? Pe people think that we're not happy to be bold. I'm mm. absolutely mm. thrilled to be like I am. I don't yeah. want to have hair anymore. I, I'm, I, it takes like five minutes to shave my head. I wake up in the morning. I don't have to to, uh, to look at me in the mirror to know if it's okay. I'm, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back with uh, any haircut. Yeah, uh, uh, but Frank, somebody asks Frank. me, oh, I pay you. Yeah. But Frank, everybody that has is that got a bald head and then has a beard is compensating for something. You're obviously compensating. <laughs> you don't like it. You don't like being bald because you grow a beard. Uh, no, because uh, uh, because like that I can hide a little bit of my ugly face. You're so beautiful, uh, so you don't have to. Uh, That's uh, why. Uh, okay. Wow. Oh, kindness, I see. And look at it, just bonding. I know. It's bond beautiful. Yeah. Happening right in front of our eyes. Oh, it, it's lo lo lovely to see. But the answer is it's zero dollars. Yes, yeah, zero dollars, I think, for, for everybody. So <laughs> there we go. I'm due for a haircut, by the way. <laughs> Uh, you love my haircut. You love my haircut. Uh, Ali, Ali, uh, Dan, you love my haircut. I don't want to. I want to see you with no hair. I yeah. think I'm ready to pay 100, 100 bucks for, for you to shave your head once. I'll and, shave and my head for 100 TV. bucks for you, Frank. <laughs> if Dan goes bald, he's definitely going to wear a toupee. No question about it. He wouldn't, oh, he wouldn't go bald. I think it'd be beautiful. I think I'd be... How did we get here? I have no idea how we got here. <laughs> What would happen if you didn't shave your head, Frank? Where does it grow? Oh, well, exactly there. Look, you can see it. Oh, yes. 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 Wow. I have to shave. I have to, I, I have to shave tomorrow. So right. I know I normally do it every two days. I didn't do it. Yeah, I have nothing. I have nothing anymore. I look like a, a priest, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like Shun, Shun, yeah. Like Shun 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 but really at the end. <laughs> what about you, Robbo? Every two days I shave my head and I haven't got much. I've got less hair than Frank has at the back. Let me tell you about that. You know, no, no, very little hair at all. Ah, oh, there we go. ESPN FC, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's more. talk about something important. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.